Hey there, welcome to another episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and in today's episode I'm going to talk about one of the most influential dance tracks of all time. Uh, it's also one of the first disco records ever made. It got released over 40 years ago in 1977. I'm talking about I Feel Love from Donna Summer. I Feel Love is produced by the legendary Georgia Moroder. Uh, it got remixed plenty of times. Uh, back in the day there was a very famous remix done by Patrick Cowley. And later the track got remixed by people such as The Masters at Work, Rollo and Sister Bliss, who you might know from uh, Fateless. And there's also a famous bootleg version done by Danny Howells. And there are plenty of other bootleg remixes. So uh, yeah, I'm sure if you check on YouTube or SoundCloud or wherever, you will find a lot of bootleg remixes. Anyway, in this episode, I'm gonna talk uh, about I Feel Love and tell you more about this legendary track. Donna Summer was born on December 31, 1948 in Boston in the USA. Her real name was La Donna Adrian Gaines. Besides her stage name, she was also known as the Queen of Disco and as the First Lady of Love. She started her singing career when she was 10 years old. When the church vocalist didn't show up, Donna replaced her and she did her very first performance ever for an audience. In 1967, she moved to New York where she joined Crow, a blues rock band. When the band broke up, she landed the part of Sheila in the musical Hair. Later on, she moved to Munich in Germany to perform the same role over there. Donna started learning German and eventually she became a fluent speaker. She even did a bunch of songs in German. While she was working as a part-time model and backup singer, she met producers Giorgio Moroder and Pete Bellotti. The three of them decided to work together and a demo tape led to a deal with a record label. In 1977, the Donna Summer album I Remember Yesterday got released. One of the tracks on the album was I Feel Love, a track produced by Giorgio and Pete. When Giorgio Moroder and Pete Bellotti started to work on the track in the Musicland studios in Munich, there was no melody yet, no vocals and lyrics, and also no title. They wanted to make a futuristic song, and because of that, it had to be done with a synthesizer. Moroder composed the backing track and bass line before the actual melody. Fun fact, the famous bass line of the song was actually created by mistake. The sound engineer added a delay to the bass line, which gave it a great effect. This is what George Moroder has to say about it. I had this big modular Moog and I had uh, my guy and I said, okay, I don't know how to start, but let's start with the bass line. And we put a click on, I could play dun, 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 and then I'll speed it up or down. And then when we mix it down, the original was dun, 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 dun. And uh, Jürgen Koppers, my, my sound engineer, added a delay and suddenly it sounded dun, 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 dun. I said, oh, that's a whole new, that yeah. was the key moment. The song was done without a melody because you cannot compose and, and tweet at the same time. So when it was done, I started to sing the melody and then Donna obviously wrote the lyrics and sang it. Another fun fact, Donna Summer didn't like the song at first, but I Feel Love became a huge success and it's one of the most famous disco tracks of all time. It's even called one of the most influential records ever made. Some people even call it the first house song of all time. According to David Bowie, Brian Eno already recognized the success of the track in a very early stage. When they were working on Bowie's Berlin trilogy, Eno told Bowie, I heard the sound of the future. Then he put on I Feel Love and he said, this is it, look no further. This single is going to change the sound of club music for the next 15 years. However, not every radio station liked the track. Some stations decided not to play it because of Donna's moaning. They said the track was too sexual for radio, so certain stations banned it from radio. In 1996, Mix Mac ranked I Feel Love number 12 in their 100 greatest dance singles of all time list. 10 years later, in 2006, Slant Magazine even ranked the song number one in their list 100 Greatest Dance Songs. In 2011, The Guardian's Richard Vine ranked the release of Donna Summer's I Feel Love as one of the 50 key events in the history of dance music. In other articles and magazines, the track gets mentioned plenty of times as well during the years. After its release, I Feel Love peaked the charts in various countries around the world. In 2013, it was announced that I Feel Love sold over a million copies in Britain, which makes it the 103rd best-selling single of all time in the country. During her lifetime, Donna Summer earned a total of 32 hit singles in the US Billboard Hot 100 chart with 14 top 10 hits. 
and I Feel Love was her most successful release ever. All right, that was it, my vlog about Donna Summer's I Feel Love. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe uh, so you can see more content. And very important, make sure to leave a comment so I know what you think of these vlogs. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.